Good evening. It's Facebook Love number 159. I hope you're well. It's fully autumn. Boy, it really feels like autumn now, and I just love it. Um, today, my family, my husband, my son, and I went early. This is probably backwards because of the way a camera is, but we went and voted early today at the courthouse in Skokie. And uh, leaving the house, going there, and coming back, it was two hours. There were lots of people there, um, and all the volunteers working did a great job. Um, I think a few of them might be employees, but most of them were volunteers. Um, and it felt good. It felt good to get that handled. And uh, it felt good. We had asked for... Um, we had asked for mail-in ballots and they had not arrived yet, so we decided to go to the polling place. And when we got to the front of the line, it turned out that they had our order and it had been mailed out, but we had not received it yet. So we did what they call a provisional ballot. Um, and then when the mail-in ballots do arrive, we're just supposed to uh, tear those up. We signed affidavits saying that we would not try to vote twice. Um, excellent, excellent procedures. So. Be a citizen if you're my friend. Okay, I have two poems for you today. Um, I was thinking about human kindness. I was thinking about um, sort of the idea of love as an action. And I have uh, two pieces that help me feel those things. The first one is Kindness by Naomi Shihab Nye. I'm pretty sure I've read this one before, but um, it bears repeating, as all good poems do. Kindness by Naomi Shihab Nye Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop. The passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore, only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere, like a shadow or a friend. Kindness by Natalie Shihab Nye. This other one is by um, Robert Frost. The aim was song. Before the man came to blow it right, the wind once blew itself untaught and did its loudest day and night in any rough place where it caught. Man came to tell it what was wrong. It hadn't found the place to blow. It blew too hard. The aim was song, and listen 
how it ought to go. He took a little in his mouth and held it long enough for north to be converted into south and then by measure blew it forth. By measure it was word and note the wind the wind had meant to be a little through the lips and throat. The aim was song the wind could see. The aim was song by Robert Frost. That one may not be as obvious uh, when I say I was thinking about love and kindness. Uh, if you sing at all and if you sing uh, for other people, you know that sometimes when you start to sing, it comes out all wrong. Too much air, too much pushing, too much muscle, too much tension, <clears throat> not enough. What you tried isn't what happened. But we're still trying. Um, another image that comes to me when I think about that is the loaded word, sin. The meaning of the word sin is really to miss the mark. So instead of this loaded idea of this wrongdoing, this terrible thing, there's this sense that you were trying to do it right. Kindness can be like that. You're trying to do it right. But it could go wrong. But you're trying. So I'm a little preoccupied with that today. This is Facebook Love. I'll see you again. Bye.